Hey, good afternoon. Marcus Conti reporting from Brooklyn, New York. How y'all doing? So I'm going to rip off a story today. Borrow a story. It's a good story. It's a good, it's a good bunch of facts that I think people um, need to understand. I think a lot of people are a little bit a little bit overly gaslighted these days in terms of the economy and how the um, how how the how how Wall Street is holding us down. Right? A lot of people don't understand the <clears throat> the mechanics of Wall Street. For the record, I was you know not just a, a long hair you know Wayne's World looking guy, but I was also a, um, a, a stockbroker <laughs> in the 90s. I wrote a book about using psychic phenomena to outwit the stock market. I was a trader uh, as well, trading my own account. So I know the, the, I know the workings of Wall Street, and that's one of the messages I try to bring to the table, is that Wall Street is, um, is uh, you know, pretty much ripping off the American people, and I can tell you how they do it. Uh, that's part of what I've been trying to say. Um, you know, and also coming out of the 2008 crash, from there, um, I became uh, involved with Occupy Wall Street in a very, very small way. I was witnessing it and watching it, but I wasn't really a fan of the way it was being done. But the message behind it, that Wall Street uh, is uh, in bed with the government and it's, it's the revolving door of government, how, uh, how the, big, the Wall Street banks control the market, they control the government. So so let's just talk about this stuff. So Obama, um, right, so two, uh, two uh, investigative reporters, Jack Carter and uh, Paul, uh, Paul Blumen's, Blumenthal, two journalists, right, they came up with this list. And Lee Camp just did a piece on it our, on RT. You know, he tried to make uh, comedy out of uh, a rather serious issue, and that's fine. Good, good job, Lee. All right, but I'm gonna, I want to try to take those facts and, and give it to you more straightforward. So, again, the facts are coming from Jack Carter and, and Paul Blumenthal, two journalists. Now, Obama, right, the, the thing about, the, thing about the, the lunatic left is that all these guys are good to do-gooders. They get into politics to do good, right? <laughs> it's bullshit, right? right? They use their position. They, they, they suck ass and kiss ass and... You know, like the guy, you remember the other, the guy in my video, the guy who works with a politician, and he's, he's working there, he's holding a sign, you don't even know what the fuck he's holding, right? He's just holding the sign, right? He's paid to say, stay, say stuff. So a lot of Obama's uh, uh, house, in my view, was, was exactly like that. So one guy is uh, uh, Jay Johnson, <clears throat> G-J-E-H Johnson. Now, he was the head of the Department of Homeland, Homeland Security under Obama. So where is he now? He's on, he's on the board of directors of Lockheed Martin, world's largest uh, American uh, uh, defense contractor, world's biggest weapons contractor. Lockheed Martin, LMT on New York Stock Exchange. Right? It's trading at uh, $322 a share. Back in 08, right, when he was, I guess, in there, when Obama took over, it was $75 a share. Now it's $322 a share. So Obama's a, he's, you know, booming military industrial complex, right? And Jay Johnson, G, J, whatever, you, however he's pronouncing his name, is making 300 grand as a board of director for Lockheed Martin, right? A Wall Street firm, a publicly traded company, $51 billion a year in revenue, $92 billion in market cap, right? He's also, this guy's also became a contributing writer for the Washington Post, a CIA, a CIA cutout. Ah, fucking politics, right? You see, the, it's the revolving door, right? Because this guy was head of the Department of Homeland Security, right? You start to understand how insider trading works, right? The Iwan, the Iwan brothers, how, how the the uh, the information right not only positions of power like Homeland Security director but 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 um, what goes on behind closed-door congressional meetings right how 
uh, of the Iwan spy ring was kind of showing us exactly how that information is is then sold out the back door via email via you know George Webb speculated that it was done through Blackberry photographs we have no solid evidence of that but we but the quid pro quo is well documented through the Clinton Foundation so so these guys so again it's these are politicians they're supposed to work for you so what do they do they go join Lockheed Martin and we just saw recently a 700 billion dollar uh, military spending bill get passed Shh. talk about ice abolish ice fucking ice right talk about anything but that kind of deal all the Democrats went along with that why because they're all now they're all uh, they're, they're all operatives right they're all lobbyists for the for you know for these corporations they took positions that was supposed to reflect the people and then once once they leave office they run to the other side and they they lobby on behalf of the the military industrial complex it's fucking crazy right so who else Melody Barnes domestic poly, policy counselor council director under Obama 210k where is she now 210k uh, for board of, she's the uh, board of directors for Booz Allen Hamilton that's another government contractor right they do cyber cyber solutions artificial intelligence for the Defense Department right New York Stock Exchange BHA $46 a share 600 billion in market cap right? they all defecting who else Eric Holder you remember Eric Holder the director of the uh, the um, Obama's Attorney General during 2008 uh, the, the bailouts you remember this guy Eric Holder he's now a partner at a law firm called Covington and Burling works on behalf of the banking industry right right well, he's a, he's a banking lobbyist. That's not necessarily a military-industrial complex lobbyist, but he's a banking lobbyist, predatory lending lobbyist. You know, six, six banks control, you know, $20 trillion in American assets, right? Is he working on your behalf? Did he go down and join the picket line and, and help, the, help people? Hell fucking no. Hell no. Lanny, uh, Lanny Buyer. Obama's uh, assistant AG, right? Also a partner at that same company, Covington and Burlington. They're attorneys for the defense contractors. This shit is crazy, right? There's more, wait a second. There's a whole list, I got nine of them, right? Mary Shapiro, former Obama uh, SEC commissioner, the chair of the SEC, right? A president gets to pick the chair of the SEC, Security and Exchange Commission. These are the organization, this is the commission that's supposed to regulate Wall Street, right? Regulate Wall Street, right? So Mary Shapiro um, is now on the board of directors of a predatory financial group, promonatory financial group, another Wall Street firm, and guess what? Morgan Stanley, pal, right? The biggest one, and if you don't know who this is, Take out a dollar bill and you'll find out, right? Who the fuck is Eric Geithner? You remember Eric Geithner? I'm digging for my dollar bill, right? Eric Geithner is, was the Secretary of State. Is he a powerful guy? you damn right he is. See his fucking name on the dollar bill right there? They got it? Eric Geithner. Uh, I'm sorry. Timothy Geithner. I got his name wrong. Timothy Geithner was the Secretary of State. I'm sorry if this is a little clumsy. I'm just I'm winging it. It's a little windy too. So Timothy Geithner, former Secretary of State, Secretary of the Treasury, very powerful guy. You remember era, uh, uh, Paulson? You remember Paulson during the Bush era, ha during the TARP thing? He was like. These are all these are all Goldman Sachs transplants, right? They come from Goldman Sachs. They join. They join. They 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 get involved in politics. They lobby on behalf of these Wall Street firms while they're in office, and then when they leave office, they return to the private sector to to rape and pillage the American people a little more, right? So, 
So where's Geithner now? He's at a private equity firm, Wahlberg and Pincus, right? He's a predatory lender, right? He's, he works for a predatory lending corporation, right? right? Did he return to, you know, public service and help people out? Fuck no. Tom Vol Volsack, Secretary of Agriculture. This guy's hysterical. He advocates on behalf of the fast food industry and the dairy industry. Right? He's the, he's the hey, healthy, you're supposed to have healthy, you know, agriculture secretary is supposed to, no, no, they join the fast food industry to, you know, kill people. And what about Obama himself? Remember, remember Obama? Obama doesn't have to get his hands dirty because he's Obama, right? He's getting 400, you remember how he railed, you know, how, how everybody railed against Hillary Clinton taking the money? Taking money for speeches, you know, Bernie. She takes the money for speeches. It's her, his, her speeches. Obama's doing the same thing. Four hundred grand per hour, per speech. Right. So that's where Obama ended up. So I think I went on a little too long. I'm already at eleven minutes, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. Um, so I also want to say that um, I'm going to be doing again. I'm running for the, for for the United States Senate. As an independent on my own party, the Bird Party, or whatever, whatever. Just, I'm a write-in candidate in New York for the United States Senate, and in a few, um, uh, we're, we're still in July, and uh, er, er, mid-September, I'm going to do a five-day tour around New York, and I rent a car, and I'm going to head up into um, the the sticks of New York because I'm I'm New York City based right here, right? But New York's a big place. There's Syracuse, there's Albany, there's Rochester, there's Buffalo, uh, Poughkeepsie, Woods, Woodstock. There's a ton of little towns in between New York City and Montreal, you know, or Canada, border. So I plan to um, take a car and go up there and do some, do some um, events, right? I don't know what they'll look like. I don't know how many people will show up, but that's, that's the idea. So I, I'm, I plan to try to raise two hundred. Uh, I think two thousand dollars should do it, right? So I have a link. It's down, down. It's either in this this corner or it's in this corner. I don't know. Wherever the contribute button is. Um, if you like this message and you wanna you wanna see people like me um, uh, represent you, then this is how you do it. Two thousand dollars from now till um, uh, till September. It's not it's not a lot. It's not a lot to ask for. If I do it, I'll take the tour. All right, so Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, uh, reporter here on YouTube and uh, candidate for the United States Senate. Let's do this. Peace.